what's up youtube what's up guys uh this is uh shishio here just wanted to make a quick video on the new system that they added uh with the latest update nermalo gave us the system um for the team up collection um i hadn't seen any uh content creators cover it and i just wanted to make a quick video you know just express some concerns try to talk about how it works um at first glance it's fairly simple you know you buy uniforms you buy uniforms you rank them up and uh at first thought that's what actually let me say that at first thought i thought it was just you know you oh well you buy uniforms you know you get power-ups you buy you buy uniforms you get power-ups and then you know uh, like this one right here you get power-ups you buy the uniforms and then you spend gold like let's say this one right here damage still to alien characters and you spend some gold and you level it up i thought at first class it was simple right and then you take a look into it and there's actually missions there's actually missions to unlock the power up so i already did most of these but we saw them it was uh get certain uniforms to rare get certain uniforms to mythic for all these characters awaken transcend all these characters and the last one is reach tier four with at least two of the characters which currently there's um two that can do tier four uh dr strange and uh, moon knight i will not be pushing dr strange to tier four and but they already uh data mined the game and the, the token and all that so we pretty much know that ghost rider is the next there's gonna be a tier four um so you get though you do those missions you get these tokens and then you spend those tokens to upgrade this right here this uh i want to call it a hexagon one two yeah i want to call it a hexagon i'm not sure if it's good don't judge me on it. don't cruise my for it so you spend that and you power this up it goes all the way up to level 18 and as it goes up you get stronger so with the next level, I'll unlock 9% all basic attack and additional PS damage. However, so I, I'm going to do the fine print here and say that this will only apply to these characters within this group. So, Doctor Strange, Moon Knight, and so on and so on will get, right now, get 6% all basic attack increase because it's level 5, right? And then once I hit the next level, increases, I get the 1% PS, so on and so forth. I have to point out that it goes it's an RNG based system so you get the tokens you're not guaranteed you're gonna get the upgrade right so there's a fine print there there's, there's RNG there's tokens um, I will say that you do the missions you get tokens if you power these up enough like let's say increases basic attack um, where is it increases basic instinct attack right so if you power this up enough I think it was uh, no not that one if you go up to level four four you get one token so if you power it up enough you'll get one token one token really where i'm at one token really doesn't help me much because you need 22 tokens for the next uh, to try for the next upgrade you might not get it so here's the thing the other way to acquire these tokens this goes all the way up to level 18 i think was what it was and at 18, you get 40% all attack and 10% additional PS damage to these characters, right? There's no way where I'm at now, there's no way I'm going to get enough tokens to do the whole thing. So what does that Marvel do? They put it in the store. You go to the store, you can buy more tokens. Right here. $20 for 90 tokens obviously won't be enough or $50 for 280 tokens that's no big deal if you're uh if you're free to play or 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 um you don't spend that much in the game you're not gonna go for this right obviously if you're not a major spender if you're free to play you're not gonna go to this so this system is only accessible to what you can acquire as far as tier 4 goes there's two here there's two tier fours, or actually there's three in the X-Force one. There's two tier fours in the X-Force Um, So, these are my applied effects for all of them. So, if you're free to play, if you're not a major spender, then it is what it is. You're going to do the missions that you can. You're going to spend the tokens that you can. You're going to get the powers that you can. That's fine. 
this part right here isn't so concerning what's the next one the next one is increase all energy attack increase element damage or increase physical attack and it doesn't really go up that high per se it's percentage based so it's like this one right here i have one that's like uh, ignore dodge 4.5 at level 6 i don't know how far it goes but you're not gonna get a lot out of this part my concern is and this is why i'm making this video my concern is with this part right here where you can level this up and if you're not a major spender then you're not gonna get tokens to get this far but people who spend a lot of money in this game and let's let's be clear here i'm not a free to play i'm by no means a free to play i'm a vip 20. i'm by no means a free to play but my general concern is that what happened this system is not very accessible so this is more for high spenders because you're only gonna get this far if you're like me where i have every character in the game i have every uniform in the game i don't have everybody at tier four because uh man the materials for tier four are the most valuable the most valuable um mat material in the game so you i don't go around tier four and everybody because i'm not spending I'm not buying the pack. I feel like the tier 4 pack doesn't give enough crystals to justify the $100. Even if they give you that many mats. I just can't justify the, the, the sale. So, <clears throat> that being said, this system isn't too accessible. So, let's say somebody comes through and they buy the packs. And they lay buy one pack, they get lucky, they buy two packs. It doesn't matter. Let's say they get this to 88, level 18, they get the all attack and they get the pierce damage, right? Out of this group, the only one that's relevant are the tier fours. So currently Dr. Strange, which I don't know how meta he's going to turn out being, but Moon Knight is very meta for Alliance battle. And if Ghost Rider gets his tier four, he's going to be relevant as well. I believe there's a universal hero day. So he's going to be meta for Alliance Battle as well. So let's say a whale comes through, or a major spender comes through, gets the 40% and the 10%. That, that means he's going to have 10% extra additional damage and a lot more attack than most free to plays and most light spenders. Not like, so it basically, it breaks the balance of the game. This not being accessible to everybody breaks the balance of the game because right now for here, Doc Ock is very meta for Alliance Battle and um, Green Goblin is very meta for very meta for Alliance Battle. So clearly, if you give them ten percent extra peers, you know, especially Doc Ock, who's meta for ABL and ABX. So not now, but in a few months time, or even now, if, if somebody spends the money now to get the tokens, they could very much already start breaking the AB, the Alliance Battle meta. And then on top of that, you have X-Force and X-Force, you have Wolverine, you have Storm and you have Cable. So far, two, three tier fours. One of them is a pain in the ass, a headache for PVP, for Timeline Battle, for Alliance Conquest. Give him 10% extra PS damage and then see who's see who's gonna try who's gonna be able to kill him on time The PvP the timeline battle is already hard enough as it is because it requires you you need tier force in order to I don't want to say you need them, but if you want to have a Good amount of success in timeline battle currently you're gonna need tier force and Unfortunately currently the meta is the some of the most expensive characters in the game. You have Jean Grey you have Wolverine, you have Adam Warlock. Then you have some some like Spider-Man. There's some PvPs. There's some characters that are not so expensive and you can put them in timeline. You can have some success with them. But the majority of people will be running the likes of Wolverine, will be running the likes of Jean Grey. So you give Wolverine 10% extra peers. He's already, he's already a pain in the ass. It's going to make him worse, right? You give uh, Storm, who's currently... The the meta song uh, the meta for ABL as far as female hero mutant goes, right? She's a meta, and then 
<clears throat> let's open up the possibilities. So you go on Google, or you go even even in the, when you go in the game and you select. Uh, I don't want this video to be too long. It's already ten minutes. But if you go in the game and you select all abilities, you get some factions, right? You get the Black Order, the Eternals, the Dark Avengers, the Guardians of the Galaxy, Warriors of the Sky, Fantastic Four, Phoenix Wars. Some factions, right? Some of them are just groups. If you go on Google, you search up, you know, oh, Marvel factions. If you go on Google, you search up Marvel factions, you're going to get Thunderbolts. You already have X-Force. You know, you get New Warriors, Agents of Atlas, which is, you know, the likes of uh, Sharon Rogers, Luna Snow, you know, those type of characters. You can't, I don't want to put X-Men into the mix or I, I can put Fantasy where I want to put X-Men because I want to limit it to nine to 10 characters at most, right? So you put Phoenix Force, you get really creative because that's where you bring Jean Grey. You put Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, there's your Magneto, there's your Sabretooth. You see where I'm going with this? You can make a symbiote group and that'd be great. So limited small characters, right? Jean Grey, there are only three factions where I could think that they could add her. Because my main concern is Jean Grey. She's already broken. You can put her in timeline with a rage at tier four and she's... She's a menace, right? Give her 10% additional pierce damage to a system who's not accessible to anybody, to a system who's pretty much only accessible to high spenders. And pretty soon you start seeing the balance kind of, the balance of the game kind of leaning towards one way. So, cause to be competitive, cause if you give, you give a hundred people 10% extra pierce damage, the biggest spenders of the game, you give them 10% extra period damage, 40% all attack over the rest of the competition. You know what I'm saying? So there's three groups that Jean Grey could be in. That's Phoenix Force, that's Hellfire Club, and that's uh, the other one I saw was something Krakoan, not Krakoan, it was a Quiet Council. The, the Quiet Council. So you got any of these three into the mix, any of these three groups into the mix. And then all of a sudden, Jean Grey, as powerful as she is, it becomes even stronger for a certain group of people within the game. And I'm not hating on the spenders. They're pretty much the people who keep this game alive because the high spenders are the ones paying the bills. Let's, let's put that. But at the same point, you're, you don't bring, this is, this system is a cash grab. You're going to bring, this is not like the swords. Exo swords is very RNG, not exo swords, the sword system is very RNG based, but it is also very accessible. Like anybody, anybody, if you play other world battle constantly, you're gonna get the mats. You just gotta hoard them, but you get enough mats. This is free to play friendly. This is accessible to everybody. This system, however, especially this part right here, the upgrade part is not accessible to everybody. So pretty soon, once they start adding more factions into this, you're going to see the balance of the game leaning towards one side and, and be broken. So I just wanted to bring that up. I don't, I'm, I just wanted to bring that up. I'm just concerned. I like the game. I like the comp the, com the competitive aspect of the game, but I don't like to, I don't want to be forced to be a high spender in order to compete in order to not get steamrolled. And pretty soon if I'm correct about this, which I hope I'm not, but once they add a faction that includes Jean Grey into the mix, that's going to pretty much break this game unless they make the tokens more accessible. I don't know how they can do it, but yeah. So if you agree, if you disagree, leave a comment, like, unlike, share the video. Let's talk about it. Let's have a conversation about the system. Tell me what you think. All right. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.